Hi, it's Kathy from Fieldwork Connections. I am in Nam, Melbourne today, or for a few days. Um, and I am down at Docklands. It's a little bit hard to see. There we go. Um, the Melbourne Star, which is like the Ferris wheel thing is behind me. And what I'm looking for are the floating wetlands. Um, I have seen many posts by the lovely Dr. Kylie Soames um, and I want to find these wetlands because it is this floating platform in the river and it's all about urban ecology and apparently she says that the swans have laid their eggs there and um, hatched their lovely little signets. So um, I'm going to see what I can find. Well, I'm in the right place because behind me here is a VCE geography class doing their uh, field work. Very exciting. Um, and I have just seen it over here behind me. So getting down on the boardwalk. Okay, look behind me here. There it is. I'm going to go check it out. Okay, I have found the floating wetland. You can see all the beautiful um, grasses and reeds that are growing on there. And today there are some pigeons and some ducks, I think. Mm. No sign of the swans, they must have taken off. Um, I'm assuming they've raised their lovely little signets. It's got like this little um, pond area in the middle. Now, I don't know if that's just more river water or if it's fresh water. Not sure. There's like a little bridge that goes down into the water, so if something falls in, it could get back out again. That's so cute. It's really important just to have a look around to see why something like this is so important. There's no other natural areas in the river here where there could be grass or marshy areas. It's all very urbanized and industrial. So having this tiny little island of biodiversity is a lifesaver to some species. So Dr. Kylie says there's actually three of these on the Yarra River. Um, another one of my sources tells me there might be one around near the aquarium so I might hop back on a tram or even walk along the waterfront of the Yarra and see if I can find another one. So I've come a bit further upstream, up the Yarra River, and I am out the front of the aquarium, and I have found the other two little floating wetlands. Just over here, there's just so much noise here. We are right in the middle of the city. There's helicopters, there's car noises, there's um, sirens. Everything is going on here, yet there is another little pocket of biodiversity right here. Well, the plants on these two seem to be doing a little bit better than the other one at Docklands. The grasses are quite a bit bigger and something else I've just noticed which is pretty cool is these little um, stands. So if you're like a cormorant or something just here, um, you can have a perch to sit on. ducks. So there are wood ducks and seagulls and uh, I think I saw a coot up behind me there underneath the rail corridor but on the floating wetlands I've just noticed out there just in this little space here there is a seagull and a coot so the birds are using it um, and it's also really important um, because of the reeds are filtering some of the water as well. All this river water, which would carry a lot of nutrients and sediment, um, coming down the urban catchment. These reeds are native plants. Their roots are able to filter that water, which is a really important ecosystem service. Well, I was super excited to find these wetlands today. Not really something we see in the Sydney area because of Sydney Harbour being a very different environment. Um, but I'd love to know if uh, Melbourne puts in any more of these floating wetlands or if there's any wetlands around the world or other parts of Australia that you know of. Let me know. <laughs> the alternative to a floating wetland. Guys, 
supposed to be over there. 